Hello, this is Cotton Stoops, and welcome back to another Lumion Legacy HDC video. And today we're doing the long awaited HDC on Oxidrake. Without further ado, let's get right along into this high anticipated Lumion. The encounters and checks and teammates in order to use Oxidrake from the battle, as well as knowing the sets and the roles in order to team build around Oxidrake. Today's video is all about how to use encounter Oxidrake. So as always, the first thing to know with how to use Oxidrake is its role and we can answer this mostly with its base stats along with its typing. First off, it has some decent base stats here. Mostly these are going to be your lower ends of your base stats, the ones you really want to watch out for. Your speed stat ultimately does outspeed a few walls, but this does get outsped by pretty much every offensive Lumion. Your range defense is definitely not that bad as well, however, compared to other things that are ranged bulky or at least somewhat have pretty good range defense specifically on the 80 range defense side to the 90 range that's not really that great and of course your range attack is never worth using and you do have a decent energy and hp stat to make up for it your hp stat paired with your range defense actually does have some pretty good bulk and what is actually being ran today are very clever oxidrake so this does give you an idea of how good defensively oxidrake is with its typing and its coverage other than that, you do have a pretty good melee attack and melee defense stat, which is going to be your main stats you want to be taking note of when using Oxidrake. Your melee attack stat of 123 allows you to hit very naturally without or with investment, and your melee defense of 113 is also pretty good. It makes you naturally bulky on the melee defense side, which can benefit any type of Lumion. And your defensive prowess is actually increased even further with your defensive typing. You have 8 resistances to water, plant, ice, air, bugs, spirit, mind, and typeless. These are all pretty common typings. Plant types, whether that would be from the likes of Tatab, ice types, you basically have a lot of them. You have Glashadia and Chienta which is all very good. I don't really need to run down all of this list because this is a butt ton of resistances to have. And what makes it even better is that unlike something like Krakaloa, you only have three weaknesses, which is to Light, Earth, and Brawler. Albeit all very common typings, but this doesn't really take away from how good defensively you are. So, what's the role that Oxidrake is going to be playing in your matches? It's going to be a great and pretty great bulky and offensive or defensive Lumion. Personally, with Oxidrake's low speed stat and the fact that it only really has 123, so you're gonna not going to be hitting too hard compared to other melee wall breakers, I suggest running a defensive set, especially with matchups that I'll be talking about right in the following section. So with that out of the way, let's get right on to the set. Alright, so the set, as I've alluded to, is going to be a ranged defensive set for Oxidrake. Because Oxidrake has good matchups specifically against Novadius and Shadia, Oxidrake will be able to utilize its range fence pretty well. And you're still decently melee bulky on the side, so you can still live hits from super effective melee attack errors such as Tatab, so that's always nice. And ultimately, we're going to be running this set, so your ability of choice is going to be oxidized or combative. Either one is ultimately just fine for what you want to run and accomplish. Combative is more of an offensive variant, specifically tailored to beating stuff like bafflers, which can try and baffle on you. And while they still get their baffle out, you're most likely going to be living a hit from whatever wall breaker is coming in and just hitting them back either super effectively or just overall just one shotting them depending on what the wall breaker is and that is assuming if you have good hp management and oxidize is generally the best defensive utility based ability so that's what you're going to try and do other than that your personality is going to be clumsy very sluggish and very clever this is so you can maximize your matchups against range defense lumians However, if you are trying to go for a more offensively oriented Oxidrake, I would go Brawny Clever, but Very Clever is just standard in my opinion. Then you have your moveset, Rejuvenate, Driving Force, and Barbs is going to be what you're going to be utilizing. This is also just a Walmart Gargolm defense, but it does have somewhat of an attack prowess with its 123 base melee attack, and your fourth move 
option is going to be Steel Crusher or Primal Slash. Steel Crusher, in my opinion, is ultimately just the better move, considering you can just one-shot Glashadia, and you can just to have better matchups on the Metal Stab. You do have other matchups that you can benefit from, specifically from spirit types trying to swap in on your driving force, but there's not a lot of common spirit types, and most of them, such as Your Soul and Revenine, they're immediate swaps anyway. So I would just run Steel Crusher. It also does have some decent synergy with driving force, as you can bait fire types in with Steel Crusher and then force them out with driving force getting more barb damage on the field. Other than that, let's talk about the items. Mysterious Dust, in my opinion, is going to be the best item for Oxydrake. This is mainly because Oxydrake doesn't have the best H energy stat to actually take advantage of heavy items. And while you certainly can do, you either waste too much energy TPs and leave out some bulk, or you do the other bad option and then you just have not an optimal energy spread. Your next item is going to be a heavy shield. This is so you can maximize your range defense. And a choice of pearl is definitely what can be your last option in case the heavy shield or dust is occupied. Anyways, the TPs for this set is very simple. There's not a lot of thought put into this. This is just very standard stuff. 200 HP and 200 range defense just to maximize what you have. And your 96 melee defense is just so you can maximize your melee defense without wasting TPs. And your 4 energy gets you up to 250 energy. This is so you can just use 5 steel crushers or most likely going to be a couple of driving forces and barbs and then your steel crushers which is what we're going to be using. So with that out of the way, let's get right on to the counters and checks and teammates for Oxidrink. Counters and checks for Oxidrink is very simple because there's a lot of stuff that Oxidrink can deal with, or not deal with I should say. First off, fire types are going to be the name of the game here. While Oxidrink doesn't get hit super effectively by them, fire types are still enabled because of Steel Crusher. Seer Knight ultimately just walls every part of Oxidrick except if the Oxidrick is running Brawler Stab so do note of that but Seer Knights are most tending to be running Terrifying. Pyrolin is also another case of this. It doesn't deal as much damage as Seer Knight but it can get rid of the barbs if you're running Burn Up which isn't really recommended. You can hit it super effectively with Mud Spatter or you can just abuse Oxidrick for setup if you really want to. Pyrolin is just a decent check for Oxidrake in general. And then, of course, Solburst or Elthodon with the stab landslide and being a fire type, it, you never want to face an Oxidrake versus an Eruptodon because the Eruptodon will always win. Other than that, you do have Brawler types such as Your Soul and Mutagon, which both of them do res resist or is immune to Driving Force, so that kind of goes against Oxidrick, and both can hit Oxidrick super effectively, and Dokomori and Dakuda are other options, specifically Solburst Dakuda with Gamma Pulse, and Dokomori with Earthquake, all of them being able to take advantage of Oxidrick very well, and Light Types also, they take advantage of Oxidrick because Oxidrick can at most can also just hit them neutrally, which is not that bad, but it's certainly not the worst, or not. it's not the best, I should say. Luminami, Jalusa, Falkyrie, they all break through this thing with ease. Other than that, let's talk about offensive and defensive teammates to actually deal with these guys. First off, I would like to mention Lumians that can take advantage of the hazards. Hard hitters such as Glashadia, Solbars, and Raptodon, and Shienza, which normally hit hard on their own, will now be able to get hit or will now be able to hit the opponents even harder, especially with barbs on the field. And you can also use stuff like Vespratu or Novodius, which normally struggle to get damage off without any boosts, are now helped out by barbs. Vespratu also does have a special synergy with Oxidrick because it does resist and is pretty good against most of the brawler types in the game, such as Your Soul and Mutagon. Other than that, you can also put in the stuff like Luminami, Jalusa, Clayone, and Dokomori. Notice how all of these guys either are, besides Dokomori, most of these guys do have pretty good matchups against fire types. 
Dokomori also has pretty good matchups against water types, specifically the likes of Jalusa, Cleone, or not Cleona, but Julius, the Jalusa and Luminami. Being able to hit them super effectively, set up hazards on them, baffle out, or just try and fish for poisons, that is also good for Dokomori in this case. It also enables other wall breakers that you can pair with it, such as Silver Erothodon, which also benefits from the hazards of Oxidrake. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the conclusion and my thoughts on Oxidrake. So what are your thoughts on Oxidrake? I'm very interested, so leave your thoughts down below, specifically on Oxidrake, or you can even talk about the video or anything that you want, from suggesting new HDCs, new video ideas, or much more questions that in case that I've missed in this video. Of course, also support my channel by liking and subscribing. In case you got this far, I'll be putting my Discord link down below where you can get help from other people and myself as well, as well as the meta analysis link, very similar to my server, however, much more better as they post tournaments do analysis on proper Lumians that I haven't gotten to or just haven't gotten the chance to upload. So yeah, this is Connor Stoops signing off to remind you that Zulong is still a dumpster fire.